right, so let's look at uh, some interesting properties of uh, mixing up Poisson processes. Uh, this is a, a very special case. You have two processes. One of them you can think of as an arrival process, x of t. Things are arriving. So this is x of t. And the other one is a departure process. Things are uh, departing. Uh, both are independent, so things are happening randomly. And this is y of t. So each is Poisson with the parameters lambda and mu. What we are interested in is if you take any inter-arrival duration here, let me call this to be z, and we want to count the number of departures. Uh, so remember, z is random. z, of course, we know is exponential with parameter lambda because we are referring to the x process. And uh, so during this random duration, uh, uh, things could be independently happening on y of t, which are departures. And we want to start counting them as one, two, three, but only over this interval. So essentially we want probability of n equal to k. This is what we are interested in. So that's what we mean by the departure statistics in inter-arrival duration. So plenty of examples in airports. You could think of these are the arrivals of uh, airplanes into JFK or any airport and <clears throat> this is another process that is between two arrivals how many people are walking into JFK uh, or in a bus station buses arriving and the uh, so between two arrivals how many people accumulate in terms of uh, uh, in terms of waiting for future buses etc so to uh, so if you if you try to address this directly it's too many things are going on because this is random then the then we have another random process y of t and uh, so randomness over randomness uh, so in such cases it's a good idea to uh, to get hold of uh, what do one step at a time so obviously conditional density functions and conditional distributions will be useful so we can ask the simpler question, what is the probability of n equal to k, given that z is some fixed duration tau. So we are fixing this random variable z to be tau. So if you, of course, if you fix this to be tau, then uh, the problem becomes extremely simple because over, a, over any duration, y of t is Poisson with the parameter mu, <coughs> mu t. <coughs> this is Poisson with lambda t. Of course, t is the duration, so this is the this is actually going to behave like a Poisson random variable with parameter mu tau, which is because z is fixed to be tau, and we are looking at the n is remember on the output process, so this probability is actually e raised to minus mu tau, mu tau to the power k over k factorial, k could be zero, one, two, three, etc., up to infinity. Of course, this is a conditional distribution, and we also know that <coughs> f, uh, f tau of tau is actually lambda e raised to minus lambda or uh, tau or tau positive. So we can put this together and get the unconditional PDF of uh, the this random variable, which is the departure statistics in any inter-arrival duration. Uh, to be probability of in using the generalized Bayes rule in this map. So all we need is now substitute this uh, <coughs> parameter. So this is zero to infinity because tau goes from zero to infinity. So this is exponential with parameter lambda, uh, the z. And so if I plug it in, this becomes integral 0 to infinity, e raised to minus mu tau. Uh, this is mu tau to the power k over k factorial. Then lambda, e raised to minus lambda uh, tau d tau. So if I collect all the terms, uh, 
Also, if this becomes probability of any equation k is uh, uh, lambda u to the power uh, k, and then you have uh, k factorial 0 to infinity or uh, tau to the power k e raised to minus lambda plus e to the power tau theta. So let me substitute this to be x. So I'm substituting lambda plus u multiplied by tau to be x. So tau is of course x over lambda plus mu and the d tau will be of course dx over lambda plus mu. So if I substitute it here, and this becomes uh, lambda over lambda plus mu and this you have e to the power k integral 0 to infinity. So the limits remain the same but uh, uh, so tau is of course x over lambda plus mu to the power k e raised to minus x and I already put so if you d tau is dx over lambda plus mu. So if I pull out all the constants outside, so the whole thing over k factor is. So if I pull out, this is lambda over lambda plus mu. This is mu over lambda plus mu to the power k. Then you have 1 over k factor in. This is integral 0 to infinity x to the power k e raised to minus x dx. But this is just k factorial. So k factorial cancels you get the result to be lambda over lambda plus mu multiplied by mu over lambda plus mu to the power k, k equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. This of course, you, as you can see, you can write it as pq to the power k, k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Which is of course geometric with parameter p where p is of course lambda over lambda plus mu and q which is 1 minus p you can see it will turn out to be this quantity mu over lambda plus mu so the bottom line is the following if you look at the number of departures between any two random arrivals of another Poisson process those departures have a geometric distribution with the p which is uh, mingled of uh, with the both the lambda and mu. In other words, p is lambda over lambda plus mu, and q, which is 1 minus p, is mu over lambda plus p. So it's a very interesting application of uh, uh, trying to solve a complex problem by breaking it up. So the original problem is too complex, so we looked at uh, conditioning on the second random variable. When this becomes, uh, we can handle it. Then you use the Bayes theorem and remove the condition and get to get the unconditional density function or the probability mass function of this uh, discrete uh, random variable. Thank you.